Thanks for checking out Top 3D Tuts. What I want to show you is an advanced tip for making transitions. Now what I have here is just three simple layers. I've got a background image that I'm using. It's just a gradient. Uh, I've got another similar gradient that I'm using as a graphic piece and some text. So that's it. Now a traditional way of doing this would be to take your cross dissolve, take them down here to the end of this video, and then play it out. However, when you do that, the text is actually, it doesn't look right. It actually it looks too bright. And in order to get these to all blend more consistently, what we can do is come over here, delete the cross dissolves off the end of here. I want to highlight these and do Option C. Now Option C is called nesting. It will take these items and put them into their own sequence. Sometimes I like to call these subsequences, or you can really name them however you want to do them, as long as you can keep track of what you're doing. Okay, so it put it in its own sequence. Now, when I go to use this cross dissolve and add this on here, it's going to make for a much smoother dissolve. That was much better, much smoother, all accomplished through using the Option C after highlighting the items you want to put into that one sequence of its own, and that's all there is to it. Uh, it, it helps out your graphics and makes them look like it's uh, an independent piece, and it, and it fades out much more nicely. So there you have it. Hope this helps, and have fun with it.